Uh, I'm Sjoerd, I'm from uh, the Netherlands and I study uh, mathematics. Uh, I'm Anna, I'm from the USA and I study computer science. So you said that uh, you just came to Tokyo from uh, Singapore? Yeah, yeah, from the National University of Singapore. We studied for <laughs> four or five months. Um, and yeah, now we're like, uh, doing a trip for like 15 days through uh, Japan and Korea. So yeah, um, it's quite cold over here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so it's like, uh, like 30 degrees uh, in, in Singapore <laughs> and over here. So, uh, when you're second day? Uh, yeah, this is the second day. Oh, yeah. Um, you just arrived in Tokyo. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's uh, nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so why you decided to go to Singapore to study? Well, basically, for two reasons. First of all, it's like, uh, it's known as one of the most prominent universities in all Asia. Uh, and I've never been outside of Europe. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was like, okay, if I'm going to do something special, just going to like, Switzerland is a bit boring, so I might as well just immediately go to uh, Singapore. There was also not an extreme amount of choice that mm -hmm. I had. I could also go to um, Japan, oh, but yeah. the problem is that like, I know right. that Japan is not very <laughs> English proficient, uh, and I know basically no words apart from like Konnichiwa. And, uh, yeah, okay, okay. So living there for five months, it's uh, not gonna work out, I think. Uh, you know? yeah. Yeah. How, how about you? What, what is your reason that you went to Singapore to study? I, I just went for the food. Yeah. I just went for trying lots of food. Yeah. I don't really know like what is the typical Singapore food. So what kind of food do you usually eat there? There's like a nasi lamak, which is like uh -huh. chicken wing and rice and cucumber and um. peanuts. And, uh -huh. uh, and just a lot of Chinese food. Oh uh, yeah, that, Singapore is pretty much yeah. influenced by Chinese cultures. Yeah. yeah, they have like so many food courses as well. Uh, it's just not just Chinese, you have Korean. For Japanese, 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 Japanese. Oh, yes. um, Asian. Yeah, yeah. Japanese. And in the university, all these food, the food course, they have all these stalls next to each other. So every day, you can basically eat at a different country, yeah. oh. and it's extremely cheap as well. It's yeah. like um, two, three yeah, dollars then. Yeah. Like, like Singaporean dollars, yeah. I think it's like three hundred yen, something like that. Okay. Yeah. I thought like uh, Singapore is pretty expensive country to live. But, to live. Yeah, to live. Yeah, but like um, housing is expensive. Housing, but food cheap. is really cheap. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I think yeah. it's also very much a um, uh, food-focused country. Like there's a lot of advertisements about food. So what's your plan after this? I mean, you have uh, about one week or two weeks to stay in Tokyo. Uh, yeah. Why you go outside Tokyo, like well, to Tokyo, travel to? In a couple of days we go to Kyoto. Kyoto? Mm -hmm. you go to Kyoto. Yeah. That's for nice. another like. We're like four days here, yeah. four days there, and then oh. we come back for a day here, oh, that's nice. and then we all split different ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and also went to, a, we're planning to go to Osaka. Osaka? Yeah. Osaka. And another, uh, oh, Hiroshima as well. Oh, Hiroshima? Yeah. 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 <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some we really didn't make plans. No. Um, we kind but, of figured out housing. Um, and then yeah. we were like, oh wait, we actually don't know. <laughs> and sometimes we see like a cute shop or whatever and we just stay there and then... Yeah. 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 And what do you expect from Japanese trip this time? Uh, well, uh, like the main thing I wanted to try is like uh, an actual sushi restaurant. Ah, uh, sushi restaurant? Yeah. yeah. Is it like what kind of sushi style? Because there are so many grades of sushi restaurants. Like, so many grades? Yeah, so many like levels of so the quality levels okay. of Japanese sushi restaurants. We were mm -hmm. standing. Standing. Ah, standing. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not sure about the quality level. It, it seemed pretty fancy. Uh, it was nice. Yeah, yeah, it was nice, it was good. Uh, but it wasn't super expensive, so... Maybe, but the uh, standing sushi restaurant is usually offer you pretty good quality of sushi. Yeah, yeah, I think it was pretty good. Compared yeah. to like a conveyor belt sushi restaurant. Yeah. But yeah. you still want a conveyor belt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just for fun. It's yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it's all automated and such. Yeah. We like the automated stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I must say, like, the, 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 the standing one was also... Um, it's very interactive, you can see uh, the food actually making it yeah. in front of you um, and all the ingredients as well. Yeah. They have the like baked tea yourself, which I've never seen before. They have, like, the, go the jar of like, green tea, uh, and yeah. just like, yeah, powder. water in it. Yeah, I put a bit too much uh, <laughs> powder in it. Uh. This is called uh, kamameshi. Kamameshi is like a steamed rice, yeah. so you can try different tastes. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's good. Can you try that? It's creamy. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's interesting. Because I've actually ate an oyster raw, but uh, um, 
I mean, it almost tastes like liver, I think. But mm. Have you ever had an oyster before? Because they're always raw. Oh. Uh. I'm too scared of my mom eating those. Yeah, it's great. But it's like clams, so. So it's your first time to try oyster. Mm -hmm. Is this like very special for for like people to eat oyster over here, or is it like um, more of a general thing as well? It's not a general. I think this is pretty special. I mean, special. when we when we eat the oyster, we usually eat the raw or yeah. maybe cooked oysters as well. But we don't really put the uh, rice like with it. So yeah. 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 What kind of food do you usually eat um. in your hometown? Like, what is a Dutch typical food? No, it's the, the usual Dutch meal I suggest is like um, Burenkool. <laughs> Burenkool. Burenkool. It's like the most um, generic piece of meal, I would say. Like also, you know, the generic um, uh, cookie or whatever, it's like the, 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 the stroke uh, waffle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it turns out that yeah, in... Um, thin waffles, in the bean between yeah. some uh, honey or whatever. Yeah, caramel. Or or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, kind of, what type of food do you usually eat at your house? In Oregon, like what is the typical things? Pasta, hamburgers, hamburgers, yeah, BBQ. We don't, we, we don't, don't do really a lot of barbecue. That. That's oh. more like the South. Apples, apples, pears, bananas. It's like a lot, a lot of like bread, bread based. Oh, okay. Like garlic bread and oh. toast and things. Also, is there any like uh, Japanese restaurants? Oh yeah, India, my my hometown has yeah. a ton, a ton, a ton of. All Asian Asian food. Asian food, and my college town has a small collection, but they still they have so many um, international students. Mm. That they have a pretty good like Asian food. A lot of Chinese restaurants, mm -hmm. a ton of Korean mm -hmm. too. There's a sizable co Korean community in uh, my college town. Oh, uh, okay. But like old people too, so I don't know if they just moved there or something. So do you miss your foods? in your country like you spend a lot of time in uh, Singapore or yeah. you came to Tokyo and you know, I think because they also your hometown no, I don't think that yeah I do miss like my, my the, 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 like just the friends and everything mm -hmm. uh, but like in terms of food yeah, I don't feel like I miss anything specific I must say that like, the Dutch cuisine is not that um, extraordinary mm -hmm. it's um, I can set up like the only thing that I think is weird to other countries is that we have like chocolate um, sprinkles so it's just, it's just a piece of bread Butter on top of it, and then. I get a slack. Apple slack, yeah. Slack, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The snappers, we call it. Okay. Yeah. Red snapper. Yeah, snappers. Yeah, if you just eat it just by itself, maybe it's just fish, but the uh, kind of combination with the uh, steamed rice makes okay. it yeah, tasty. Yeah. Oh, that's good, yeah, yeah. I mean, certainly the rice has more flavor than yeah. otherwise mm. we've eaten. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Combination the best. The, the fish one, I think, is my favorite. Oh, yeah? I think the oyster was like the most unique. <laughs> it was, the most unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. If I go to your country, uh, what kind of sightseeing do you recommend? Sightseeing? Oh man. Yeah. Like, most people don't come to my part of the country for sightseeing. <laughs> We like really, really? we but, used to uh, have some pretty waterfalls, but then um, everything burned down. And I don't know if they've opened it back up to everyone yet or not. There was a big fire, the some fire. kids set off fireworks oh my during God. the summer and like most of the pretty wildlife burned yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. So sad. Multnomah, Multnomah Falls? That was our main attraction. <laughs> <laughs> We have a safari, but like you could go to oh. other places for better safaris. <laughs> Hiking and snowshoeing and oh. skiing and snowboarding and lifts and stuff. How about your place? Uh, what do you recommend? Well, like not in my own town. There's not a lot to see there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the Netherlands in general is like a lot of art, a lot of museums. Personally, I'd say like the um, most unique. Um, yeah, museum is like the MC Escher Museum. I think like everyone has seen the artwork somewhere in their life, more mathematically. Oh, wow. uh, like it plays a lot with like recursion, with like um, repeating patterns, etc., etc. But it's also it's not just painting. It's not just uh, paintings and um, and, and uh, like drawings. Mm -hmm. It's also like interactive, um, yeah, interactive things you can do. You can Maybe. touch things. You can. There's also like. Uh, 
a, a specific room in which like the, the perspective is ah, distorted. Yes, yes, yes. So if you stand in one corner, <laughs> okay, okay. You you take your a seating is very large. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. Like I can remember. Yeah, I, I haven't been there well. recently. Like probably for like six or seven years. Yeah. But I can remember as a kid that it was like one of the yeah. most fun places. Uh, so yeah, that's for museums. Mm -hmm. um, some churches like the Dom mm -hmm. It's not really a church. It's like a, a huge tower with like a bell that it's like the biggest tower of the entire of Utrecht mm -hmm. it, it, it's like yeah a thing you have to see I guess uh, and in, in terms like of like modern things uh, what I find impressive is like the um, Delta where I guess it's called it's, um, it's this um, giant dam it was built um, after like a, a giant flood uh, in the uh, southern part of the Netherlands and, uh, huh? and this is like one of the ways they try to protect the land from uh, floods and it's just very impressive building oh. yeah, yeah. Delta American. Yeah, it's a bridge. Uh, okay. it's, a, it's a bridge in the dam. You can walk on it. You can you can drive with a car on it. You can. Uh, really? Yeah, and there's also a museum next to it, okay. uh, which basically explains how these things work, uh, mm -hmm. why they were built, the history behind it. Uh, it's got the Nelcia Jans uh, Museum. But first of all, just thank you for. Yes, thank you for so the much. Free food as well. That's interesting. Um, yeah, specific that I have to good. say. It's good uh, food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.